I got the MacBook Pro 13 inch M2 in here and I'm gonna run a test today. And if you were on the live stream just recently, as of a couple of hours ago, then you saw that this thing is a beast. So this is a web test and it's just gonna be short and sweet today. This is running speedometer two. We're gonna test this out in Chrome and in Safari and you'll see the numbers, they speak for themselves. The M2 is a beast. If that's all you're here for, it's, it's gonna blow you away. And since this is a developer focused channel, you know what, we're gonna run this programmatically. I'm gonna pop open developer tools here in Chrome and uh, call the start benchmark function. Yeah, cause that's how we roll. And now all we gotta do is press enter <sighs> with our friend, the Schwarzenegger. Ready, set, go. And off they go. So this is the MacBook Air M1. This is the MacBook Pro M2. And you'll see the difference here in a second. Now I am planning to get the MacBook Air M2 in here because there's gonna be some significant hardware differences too in that one. And we're done. We're done on the M2, of course, because it's a single core operation. This is a single threaded process. So we're gonna have much different numbers here, of course. 319 versus 202, huge difference. Just in case my theatrics got in the way, I'm gonna press the button at the same time here to make sure the numbers are consistent. But that score on the M2 is pretty significant. 330 and it's done. 225 over here, so we're pretty close. Let's go to Safari where I believe that you will be blown away and these are numbers I've never seen before. So before I speak out of turn, let's run this test and see. Now it should be done. By the time I'm finished with this sentence, and I'm gonna make the sentence a little bit longer, it's not done yet, but it's gonna be soon. And it's uh, done, oh, there we go, it's done. <laughs> okay, 398 over here, 287 over there. I did get a score that's higher than 400 on the live stream. I got 404 there, so I'm gonna run this one more time just to see if we get a score above 400, I got 404. I've never seen a score above 400. Just a couple months ago, I was surprised to see a score over 300 with the Mac Studio M1 Ultra. 399, we're close folks, but you can see that this is pretty ridiculous. So there you go, the initial web test, comparing the M1 versus the M2. More tests coming up, I'll see you in the next one.